so in this video i play terraria as walter white in the alchemist class from the orchid mod this class allows you to cook up deadly concoctions to defeat bosses and enemies with and you'll honestly be surprised with how strong it gets as the game goes on with that said let's hop into the playthrough walter white very easy to make walter white boom now he has hair at the beginning he has hair honestly dad that might not be too bad he's got the he's got the undies on he's got the green button up hold up we can use pistols nah <laughs> he's got uh he's still got hair he's got the little mustache he's a very faded mustache he got glasses and that's what we can do about glasses damn okay we kind of got something going already that's walter white if i've ever seen walter white all right so what is the first potion we get our hands on sunflower mushrooms i could do that i can literally do that let's do a let's do a bet will i find a finch staff all right let's see what's down here finch staff one of the rarest items in the game i think i've gotten more uzis than i have finch staffs oh we got some goodies though <laughs> no finch staff but we did get some goodies we got our first alchemist flask uh all right so what do we got here does four damage uses one potency creates a healing living sap bubble if used with other ingredients if an air element is used healing is double has a chance to release a bigger catalytic sap bubble on reaction heals player and coats enemies in alchemical nature so there's gonna be a lot that we're about to learn about this because like when i did that video talking about most of these classes like i had no idea what i was reading <laughs> if i'm being 100 percent honest no idea what i was reading especially once we got to the shaman class part of that video wow we do absolutely no damage <laughs> this is not the greatest weapon hey we can heal with that bubble though pick it up okay pick pick up the bubble no that's not how it works how the fuck does it work creates a heal healing living sap bubble oh only if used with other ingredients are you kidding me alchemy isn't worth it do drugs kids alchemy is not worth it okay kind of does damage against a regular slime pov watching gr trash aim you want to see 100 percent accuracy boom 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 uh my game sort of lagged right there froze for a second i don't know if you guys saw that right there too uh <laughs> shit's freezer for me damn what's going on i had to put up a fight to kill that slime bro i see sand okay stop okay <laughs> what am i supposed to do defend myself the sand is being guarded. <laughs> I need the sand. Jesse, we need the sand. You know that scene where he's like, Skylar, where's the money? Skylar, where's the sand? Bottles. Turn the bottles into... Turn the bottles into forest sample. Yes, sir. We got our second weapon. Both the nature elements. Gelatinous samples. I can make that. No, I can't. I only have four gel. What the fuck? Hey, we're, we do damage, though. It's not a lot, but it's more than the fucking literally one damage. <laughs> so uh, I think it's pretty good. Hey, here we go. Gelatinous samples. Yes, sir. Does eight damage. Ignites when a fire element is used in the same reaction, causing a deflagration. So if I combine this with this. We, we got a little... You know, we got a little something, something. We got a little something, something. Our first combination. Our first meth that we cooked up. Sample of meth. Let's see it. Okay. Didn't do that much damage. Expert mode moment. This is where I find safety. Down here at the bottom. Ah! Why is there another vulture? <laughs> Let's get it. Down we go. GR character looking like bling bling boy before the bling. <laughs> Talking about the motherfucker from Johnny Tess. What the fuck? Ryan, leave me alone. Motherfucker stream, bro. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Motherfucker, don't be streaming, but he's got time to attack me all the time. What How the fuck? You win. No, I I didn't know my health was that low. I would love to get a double jump. I'm not gonna lie. Oh speak it into existence. I would love some head right now, I'm not gonna lie. We in the mine shaft, baby. I'm here to save Skylar. This is where Skylar is. She's locked down here. Don't worry, Skylar. I'm coming. The power of chemistry saves me again. <gasps> Skylar. She's by the life crystal. Miva. Now nah, you're Skylar. Damn. She got the goods on her. Oh my god. Allows mixing alchemical weapons by clicking. Right click on an item icon to mix it. Left click to launch the attack. Allows for mixing alchemical weapons with the hotbar keys. Press the core box, 
Oh, these are good, bro. These are good. Let's, all right, let's just start with buying these two. And then we'll look into everything else later. I like that a lot. I don't have to click now. So <clears throat> I can do it like this. I can pull up this menu, you know, you know, go like this. I'm gonna combine this one with this one. Boom. Or I can use this and I can you know, boom, 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 boom. Way faster. Makes it so I don't gotta, you know, cycle through back and forth, click on and everything. Mix it. Oh my. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda angry about that death. The alchemist is a lot of fucking around with stupid ass bottles than it is attacking. And since I was over here fucking fumbling the goddamn bottles, <laughs> I couldn't kill the damn vulture. You see like how I keep canceling like the menus and stuff? I, I, like either I have to get used to it or I gotta find some, a better way to mix shit. I have to tap left click, double tap one one, throw. And to, to hit, one one i have to take my fingers off of wasd so like uh, it's a little bit of a problem it's a little bit of a problem if i had like two more fingers on my left hand it wouldn't be a problem honestly use to interact with alchemist catalytic elements in enemy to apply catalyze catalyze replaces non alchem alchemical debuffs okay this was the item in the video where i had no idea what the fuck it did so that's why i didn't show it off in the video just 10 damage uses two potency i'm assuming potency is like our mana bar Whoa, 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 whoa. And then he just walks away like nothing just happened. Something just happened. You assaulted my wife and now I gotta beat your ass. Potion bag acquired. Let's stuff the potions in here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now that's gonna be a go to damage wise right there. Don't come down here. <laughs> Alright, that one might have been my fault. Sea foam flask. We got another water flask, creates a lingering damaging water bubble, has a chance to release a catalytic, catalytic sea foam bubble. Let me see our first armor set. There's phosphorescent armor and there's lily armor. Phosphorescent armor, phosphorescent thread. Result of a hidden reaction between blink root and glowing mushroom extracts. Okay, I think we have a goal here. Special hint. So this is your first time asking, here are three hints for the price of one. I'd highly advise getting your hands on a reaction codex. Now, there you go. Try not to lose a hand with this one. What the fuck she give me? Alchemist recipe scroll. Contains the recipe for an unknown alchemist hidden reaction. New hidden reaction discovered. All right, let me get this dude out of my house. What is it? Oh, we got two of them. Ember, gelatinous sample, uh, at attractite flask, blink root. Track that flash, water leaf. I don't have any of these, so I can't even like test these. <laughs> Boom, blink root extract, our first fire element extract. Uh, nine damage, releases fire spores. The less other extracts used, the more. Only one set of spores can exist at once. Spores deal 10% increased damage against fire coated enemies. Where'd this come from? Why'd I get this? <laughs> what the fuck? Why does that give me radiant jewels? I wonder how much these sell for. We may have just found an exploit, and you know how I am about exploits. I love video games that got exploits. But Chain Raider, that chicken! Your mother and father are cheating on each other. Worry about that. Don't worry about what I'm doing in my video game. Adultery is being committed in your household. Your mother literally got fucked by another man that wasn't your father in your house. Wow, it's a lost girl. I wonder if she needs help. What do you guys think? I think she's an NPC looking for help. I need to help her. I'm gonna die before I get my hands on what I'm trying to get. This fucking eyeball has aimbot, bruh. Oh my god. <laughs> that eye eyeball landed a solid fucking 10 hit multi versus smash combo on me. It's a lot of effort to get this. But I got it. Glowing mushroom extract, 10 chemical damage. I get it, I get it, I get it. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Combine them together. Boom, right here, mushroom thread. He's a genius, I know, I know, I know. So it says left click to trigger alchemist hidden reaction. So we gotta mix the potions together and then boom, there we go. See, now I really feel like a scientist, a chemist. Do your best Walton Witty voice. Hey, it's me, Walton Witty. Can't you see? I don't know, it sounds like an old time voice. So that's what I went with. It's your boy, Walton Witty. Let's fucking go. Look at that. I have enough to mix three things together now. 
Hey, can I sell these radiant jewels? Oh my God, I could sell them. <laughs> oh my God, hell yeah, give me that. Oh man, I love exploiting in Terraria, man. It's really my favorite. Do your best Walter White voice. I am the one who shits. What you got, what you guys fuck with? Walton Witty or Walter White? What would you do if I browned you, Game Raiders? What the fuck did you just say to me? Wait, what's the set bonus? Maximum number of simultaneous outcome. Okay, so that's the reason why I could combine three of them. Ready? Busted in his face. Remember when I did a little baby damage? Yeah, now what? Oh yeah, now what? Now what? Okay, that was weak. Now what? I'm gonna have a four hour stream and we didn't fight a single boss. Now, if that ain't a game ready stream, I don't know what is. Okay, let me look at uh, Walter White's house. Or should I, now, let, I think instead of building the house, I think we go straight to the van. I think this is what we end the stream with because we're at four hours. All right, let's fight King Slime. We got non-consumable uh, boss spawners. So like, I can go crazy if I want. So let's go crazy. Hold up, trying to trying to figure out what combos I'm going to do here. Now let's like actually control the crowd of enemies that spawns in. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you get for teleporting on me. Well, this should be a nice, easy fight now. I need the fire one. Let's do boom, boom. That that's wrong. I did the wrong one. Boom, boom. There you go. Come up here. Come up here, fella. Oh, I respect it. What slimes falling from the sky? I'm kind of busy dealing with the slimes that are already on the floor. If I lose this fight, it's because I'm too busy. I'm too deep into the mixtures, you know. I'm trying to figure out the recipe for lean, but I'm having troubles. Good mixture, and then I juke the hell out of him, and hit him with that good mixture again, and hit him with that good mixture one more time. Yes, sir. Technically, I'm busting in his face. Let's do this, this, this. Right in your face. Ow. Bro, I really gotta take a shit. Like, it's starting to bubble. The cheese in that quesadilla is starting to get to me. Like, it went straight to my stomach. Fuck, I'll just shit myself. I gotta beat the boss. No time for breaks. Speed running the boss before you shit yourself. My hardest speed run yet. One fall damage to your moment. This is really annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Having to mix a potion while I'm trying to press WASD. I die. Because I'm fucking over here trying to mix goddamn potions. So my ability to dodge is uh waning. Oh, what a hit. Oh, what a hit. Busted in his mouth. Uh, busted a potion in his mouth. Mm -mm, that sounds better. This is the keyboard. That's my left hand on WASD. That's how we move, right? WASD. So like when I want to mix something, I got to take my hands off of WASD. So I'm like this constantly. Oh shit, I didn't mean to spawn him in again. <laughs> this shit was in my hot bar, I didn't know. So it's literally like, I'm like this the whole time. So like, yeah, I, I, I'm getting my ass beat a little bit more in boss fights than I should be because I'm literally cycling back and forth now we can remedy that by using this one because look look at my left hand i'm not i don't have to use it for this but this takes way longer and it also covers your screen up if i go like this i can't see my fucking character and that's where like my suggestion of having an item that like remembers like your favorite mixture would be nice and all you got to do is just click once and you throw it maybe have like a delay on it so you can't just like spam it that'd be like a way to balance it bald mode he's not bald yet not yet he, he's seen wearing the diaper i'm glad that these are the top tier texture packs on terraria there's like six regular texture packs and most subscribe terraria texture packs and then all of them are just like these texture packs what else did they do in the desert? There's that little house, Tuco's house, where his grandpa lives. So I remember that being in the desert. And then like, look at the pee filter. <laughs> Why is this shit so, I get some, is this a flashback, right? This is when they do the flashback. Fallout New Vegas ass filter. <laughs> There's our inspiration. Here's our outcome. Hector Salamente, Salamense, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Hector Salamander house. Just because we we just need a little house for uh, 
NPCs to live next to us. We got Stellar Tout. That wasn't the one I was looking for, but I'll take it. Whoa. That one looks like it's got potential to be great. I could actually do that. Boom, boom. What's the reaction? Flipper potion. Whoa, that's kind of cool. It's like Mr. Relogic and company. What do I do if I start a summoner playthrough and I can't find the Finch staff? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Anyways, we're adding poop blocks. That sounds like a solid reply, does it not? Relogic type of reply. <laughs> oh, you can't find a Finch staff. We'll start a new world, dumbass. Anyways, poop blocks and poop liquid coming in the next update. I hope you guys are ready. If you don't find the finch staff, get to grinding slimes. Ah, yes. My summoner playthrough. I'll grind slimes with my, my fist. I don't know. Is it Minecraft? Can I punch things? Let me summon my fist to fight the slimes. He doesn't understand what the whole point of why the finch staff is so important to need to find early game. It's like summoner only, but I use a different weapon. <laughs> just found out my dog died who's gonna be sucking my balls now any takers in chat bro i've been having these dreams recently where i'd be f hitting ryan from behind all right now the actual dreams i'd be having <laughs> the actual dreams i'd be having i'd be having this dream all the time we're like i'm like visiting somewhere or i'm like either i'm visiting somewhere or i'm at at my place and i'm like packing up my stuff and in the dream like i'm packing up and like you know like getting all my stuff ready to go wherever i'm going in my dream and like the whole dream is me just like stressing over like how long it's taken for me to pack up this stuff like i've had this dream multiple times it's like i'm loading up my luggage with clothes and it's taking like forever and it like drives me crazy in the dream just like a dream someone like ocd would have because like i've definitely had the dream before i had it today where i was like visiting family and like i'm trying to pack up my clothes and stuff because we're about to leave and it's taking forever and then in the dream like my friends and family whoever whoever i'm visiting they're like not helping me at all they're like about to leave and in my dream i was like bro everyone's a fucking assholes why is nobody helping me pack up <laughs> i was like trying to find my socks forever in the dream i was like where the hell are my socks i was checking under the bed the the sofa she was driving me insane that sounds really self-conscious it might be something deeper deep down hidden ocd during my exams i used to have nightmares of me doing my exams ten dollars i could fit that snake on my ass yeah okay <clears throat> all right let's get it storm cloud that sounds like a fake ass superhero music might be bumping though let's see ow that kind of hurt that was a decent amount of damage i'll give it to you mr storm cloud hold up okay i i stopped moving to activate that one alchemist flash and i completely missed it boom boom four there you go let me try something else let's try this oh he angry now he said he tried the doo-doo mixture on me he farted in the bottle and threw it at me oh hell no my bad bro my bad my, my bad my bad my bad i didn't mean to but i had to try it you can't get mad for trying out oh. <laughs> i don't know what killed him but something killed him oh the stars killed him i was about to say like i definitely did not land that hey yo mr white with hair you, you ain't watched the fucking series this dude acting like walter white didn't have hair the whole time it's like the first two three four episodes he had hair shit that might have been majority of the first season did I ever tell you guys that story about me watching prison break i watched the first season of prison break and then like the first episode or two after season one because like at the end of season one they're like mid prison break so you need to watch like the beginning of season two to see them fully break out but yeah after watching them break out of prison i was like why is there five more seasons of prison break they broke out of the prison already what else could they do so then i stopped watching prison break after that because it's like <laughs> what are they gonna do they broke out of the prison i don't care about their lives after let's get a brain of cthulhu versus the crack cooker himself jesse we need to shit all these stars that got flying around are low-key the reason why i'm being saved right now nice oh, i didn't even buff i forgot <laughs> let's get it grand antlion he kind of spawned underwater oh no there you go he came out a little bit yeah come out uh yeah there we go okay he spawned some antlions 
to be dangerous, I might need to get rid of him. I like his boss fight so far. I like that he moves around a good bit. Oh, he's shooting big balls at me. Hold up. He doing the Terraria Balls playthrough? The Grand Antlion did it before me? He got balls of all sizes. Kind of sounds like he's trying to make a beat. Oh, he moving around a little bit. He's moving around a little bit. All right. I see him. He's getting kind of harder to hit. I'm not going to lie. But I need to kill these guys. Just need to hit him one more time. There we go. I like that fight. Very fast paced fight. Had me on my toes. I actually don't know if Twitch allows black creators to say the n-word. Of course they allow them. What the fuck? You think Twitch gets to decide that? <laughs> Twitch is like, no, no, no. Boom. Boom. There we go. And now we got a bloom jungle lily, which this makes four things. Okay. Yes, sir. New armor set alert. The last armor set we'll begin our hands on. Gives us a nice 23 defense. We get chemical damage. We get potency and alchemic main projectile velocity. We get potency regen and number of simultaneous alchemical elements increased by one. And our set bonus is triggering enough catalytic reaction to create a catalytic flower bud. No idea what the hell that is. What a throw. Oh my god. Oh shit. Well, I meant to take out. I need to take out the Attractite. The Attractite is how we beat any boss. And once we get the Attractite out, I can literally do whatever I want. Hey, fuck off. Now, if you don't know what I've been saying about Attractite this whole time, Attractite is one of the chemicals that I have. And it attracts all the projectiles from other chemicals to whatever I throw it at. So you see all those stars floating around? If I got all those floating around and then I throw a track that at the queen bee, all those stars will go towards her. I would hit her with another track that, but she is kind of just you know, fucking me up. She's like hitting me every time I try and throw something at her. There we go. Okay, bad throw. Terrible throw. I'm still working on the aim. Like I said, if you guys don't know how to pop these potions, it can be a little hard sometimes. Gotta take my hands off of WASD to combo these potions. Let's do a new combo. Boom, that's the new combo. Wasn't that good. Go back to the Attractite. You can never go wrong. I wish I could use Attractite on myself and females. It'd be like Axe Body Spray. Anybody <laughs> in here still use Axe? That's terrible. My nose is burning just from talking about Axe. Come on, walk into something. No? Okay, I I I'll kill you then. I'll hit you with a direct facial oh my god i like the comments on the stardew video where it's like i finally get a girlfriend in stardew and then the comments are like bro i was gonna say congratulations until it said in stardew it's like yeah because i would announce that i got a girlfriend in a video what kind of fucking degenerate do you think i am <laughs> my bad that stream's gonna be a little late i just had sex with my girlfriend yeah just even saying that just felt weird to say because i'm afraid of females no but I just imagine somebody saying something like that, like actually saying that as a sentence to their YouTube audience. Motherfuckers that have girlfriends that are in my chat, they always gotta bring up that they have a girlfriend. And that shit is funny as fuck. Where's my, where's my boy that said he had a wife and kids? Uh, is he still in the chat? I miss that guy. That was the best game raider viewer. Motherfucker had a whole life and he was watching my video. Now people can't say being a game raider viewer is a L because that guy has a whole family. Gemstone Elemental, let's get it. What you about to do? Motherfucker attacking before he even got close enough to see me. Watch the explosion. Look at the constant damage he's taking because of my uh, Attractite mixture, my Codeine mixture, lean as they call it. A little bouncing on his head, never heard anyone. Okay, I bounced on his head once. Was, wait, hold up, put the shield back on. I was wondering why I couldn't dash. One more time. Some light, some light. That looks like a fucking dildo. <laughs> that looks like something I put in my ass. Why is that a trophy? Whose idea was it? Why is that the shape of the trophy? Couldn't it be like a big round like gem or something? Let's get it. Alright. <laughs> Good throw. Alright, switch back to this. One. So if I just like do a bunch of projectiles combined together. I should be able to take out his hands, no problem. Shit, even if I don't aim for his hands and just get like the projectiles attracted to him in the middle, like they eventually will get hit, his hands that is. So I don't gotta worry too much. 
Whoa, saw that? That boy tried to slap the shit out of me. The hell I look like, Chris Rock? Get that damn hand away from me. It was a G.I. Jane joke. I got my cake buff. Oh man, I felt the speed. As soon as I took a bite of that cake, I really felt the speed coursing through me. And there we go. Nice and easy. As expected now, come on. This class is too strong. Geranium. The hell is that? German ore? Oh my god, I like I even sat and waited. I feel like the wall flesh is about to be a breeze. Just because I am literally like an AoE god. That's what this class is. When you break it down, the class is an AoE machine. Area of effect for people that don't know. I have the class is pretty much just an area of effect class. And guess what? I got big area. Oops. I got big areas of effect. And the wall flesh is a big boss. So you know you put those together. Big area of effect versus a big boss easy kill fuck let's get it moonlight dragonfly got him Ow. okay why this motherfucker hurt though i don't like trying to boss at this angle because it's like oh my god <laughs> it's just i gotta aim and these are heavy bottles i'm shooting out so they're a little hard to aim this is like a hard queen d fight Maybe let's mix it up. I bring out my usual, but with the lava one at the end. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. The attack literally looked the same. Let's do this, this. That looked exactly the same. All right. No, if the formula isn't broke, don't fix it. Except for this one. Bring out the explosive one. The explosive one is really nice. There we go. Some good hits right there. Another good hit. That should be a kill. That should be a kill. Bring on the next... This boss is really jittery, making me miss some of my bottles. Can't tell if that's my fault or the boss's. There's no way it's daytime already. What the fuck? How fast is nighttime in this? Look at look at the one on the right. And you telling me people are gonna buy fucking Scarlet? This dude doesn't use those wheels. Why does he have wheels? This one uses wheels. <laughs> Who the fuck is buying Scarlet? <laughs> I was so precise just for me to dash. If I can't fucking find an item. Bro, stop. This motherfucker is making me buy greater potions. I'm gonna kick you out of here if you make me do that shit again. That's the second potion I bought from him. It's like when I open up his shop, it's right on that potion and I buy, buy it every time. Hello? Can I place this? Watch your feet. Watch your feet. I really had to do shit the hard way because he was acting up. Hey, I forget that this boss... Uh, that's a bunch of hungries we gotta do it. Bro, my shit is regening so slow. I take everything, all the shit up talk I was doing, I take it back. It's gonna be the death of me, how slow the fucking shit is regening. Oh, he got stuck? Leave him there. Ha! Fuck. Ha! And I completely missed a giant wall. Oh my god, like how did it get worse? Oh my god, that was an accident. Why is there enemies in the middle of my fight? <laughs> I'm throwing out like one attack every five minutes. I got. I think I gotta change up the recipe. That was a good hit. I just gotta dodge all the hungries and then I can get a hit in there. I just have to dodge 30 tentacles. And boom, bada, bing, the fight is going fine. I'm not at half health, don't worry. It's fake health. Oh, he's fucking up my dash. I swear I drank a potion like a year ago. Now that was a toss if I've ever seen one. Look like Tom Brady in the pocket out there. What a fucking throw. Oh shit, that's better. Hey, as long as I'm just throwing projectiles his direction, he's bound to get hit. See, now I'm glad I made the arena as long as I did. I was thinking about not making the arena this long. Solid hit, solid hit. Solid hits. I knew I was good from the start. I had no doubts in my mind. How much do we have? Oh, not a lot left. <laughs> not too much left. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm using too good of a... Uh, or too potent of a uh, recipe. Because, like, look. I tapped two twice. I'm already at half a bar. I'd do it again. Now I gotta wait, like, five minutes for the region. I was throwing out attacks, like, every other month. I was throwing bi-weekly attacks. Orchid Emblem. 
while the shaman can continue to play through the journey for both alchemists and gamblers stop here for now that is the end of walter walter witty white i will give us a little extra content here though as in i want to fight the deer crops Hey, why was he enraged? I'm in your biome, am I not? Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to stand on platforms. What's the thing with this boss? Love that there's hard mode enemies spawning. I know I'm in hard mode, but why is there enemies even spawning in the middle of my boss fight? What's going on? There's literally like four hard mode enemies trying to fight me. Like, they're gonna hit harder than the boss. Oh my god, there's a projectile hard mode enemy. <laughs> There's a projectile hard mode enemy. I was fine with the regular hard mode enemies. I can deal with them. But projectile ones? Bro, I can't even move right now. I thought this was the deer cops boss fight, not the deer cops and fucking friends. Oh my god, these are getting hard mode enemies. Ah, I'm so close. Don't kill me. Fuck. Oh my god, he would die too. Look. But the motherfucker literally doesn't take damage when he's purple. There you go, I defeated Deer Clops and friends. Look, he summoned a giant owl to help him. And he summoned the motherfucker from Winnie the Pooh. See, now I know why I don't fight Deer Clops. Like, is that, like, I gotta go on Google. I gotta see why the fuck he was purple for so long. It says, if the player is more than 30 tiles away, the Deer Clops will turn dark shade of purple. It becomes immune to all damage. <laughs> what the fuck, why? Dirty blocks? It didn't feel like I was that far away. If I wanna fight a Terraria boss across the map, if I'm a ranged character and I want to fight a boss from far away, <laughs> I should have the choice to do that because I'm a ranged character. Play these over. I cooked all the crack. I am the crack fiend. Look at me next to the dildo. <laughs> Why does this boss have a dildo as a trophy? So I hope you guys enjoyed the Walter White Alchemist playthrough. Shout out to the Orchid mod. The Orchid mod has really fun and unique classes. I did a video and streams like this for the gambler class, which is also in the mod. But yeah, if you guys want to watch the full streams and see me, you know, progress from beginning to end, all the streams will be on my second channel. So go ahead and go subscribe to that to check that out. I stream all of this live on twitch.tv slash gamers on one. Make sure y'all follow that. But yeah, I guess leave suggestions for more classes you want to see the next playthrough that i 100 we are gonna be doing besides the terraria balls playthrough it's probably going to be the amulet of many minions summoner master mode playthrough when terraria 1.4.4 comes out so stay tuned for that hope y'all enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like if you're trying to see these new playthroughs in the future i'll see y'all next time